What's up, Lantern fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast coming at you with another Green Lantern product review. This time I'm taking a look at this Green Lantern flashlight from Sakaar International. I am always delighted to find Green Lantern products outside of comics and collectibles. I found this in an Ollie's this morning after seeing pictures of it online. So let's go ahead and take a look at the package details now. Here's the top back of the packaging. There's some cool artwork of Jon Stewart. And we see that this flashlight requires two AA batteries that aren't included with the product. Here's the back bottom of the packaging and we see a full product shot. This flashlight was produced by a New Jersey company named Sakar International and they make a lot of superhero themed electronic products. I certainly hope that I find more Green Lantern products produced by them because my motto is give me Green Lantern everything. On the front of the packaging, we see the Green Lantern symbol, as well as the DC Comics logo. It says Flashlight, and this product is noted as being for ages 7 and up, and I am most definitely in the category of up. This flashlight is lightweight and approximately 6 and a half inches long, but with no further ado, now it's time to bust this product out of the package and see what's inside. This product comes with a very simple set of directions that will show you how to remove the battery compartment and put in the two AA batteries. Here is the flashlight partially disassembled and you just unscrew this plastic part at the bottom. By the way, I really like this touch of the green lantern symbol here. This string is meant to go around your wrist. Obviously with a hand my size, that's not going to happen, but nonetheless, I do like that feature. Here is the lid to the battery compartment, and once you take the two AA batteries and slide them into the flashlight, you replace the lid and then take this little green piece on the end and screw it back onto the flashlight. And here is the Ascended One himself, the Master Builder, the Emerald Knight. It is Jon Stewart, and I really do like this artwork and the way that it fits onto this flashlight. I really like all of these sculpted parts, all of these green parts here. They really complement the black parts well. And of course, I really like that green lantern symbol here at the bottom of this string. That just looks really cool. So now let's take a look at the flashlight function itself. I wish that this flashlight came with a green bulb or a little plastic piece that would allow you to project the green lantern symbol. But let's see if this flashlight does its job in the dark. And now the moment of truth. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's a strong beam, especially for a $6 flashlight. Let me shine it around the room and see how it looks. <laughs> how would you like to wake up to that staring at you? Here's my wall of lanterns. Actually, that's all four walls in here, but nonetheless, that is adequate illumination. Spotlight on Jessica Cruz. There's one of my Sideshow collectible Hal Jordan statues and my 20-inch custom Hal Jordan action figure. And I'll move the beam around a little bit and show you my two Sideshow collectible Sinestro statues in their mirror-backed display case. If you'd like to pick up one of these flashlights for yourself, you can do so at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. And I certainly hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please subscribe to this channel. And I'll be back to the internet with more Green Lantern related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.